Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, we will learn about finding the sum to infinity of a GP. Okay, finding the sum to infinity of a GP. Now, we are going to use this formula to find the sum to infinity. Okay, what do you mean by sum to infinity? When the number of terms is not given. Suppose the question is find the sum of the series 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus dash 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 up to infinite terms. Okay. That means n is your infinity. You have to find the sum to infinite number of terms. In that question you will use s infinity. And what is the formula to find S infinity? A over 1 minus R. A is your first term, R is the common difference. Now, look at this example. What is A? A is 1. What is R? R is second term divided by first term, which is 1 over 2. Now, use the formula S infinity is A over 1 minus r which is equal to 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2 1 over 1 over 2 which is equal to 2 that means sum of this given series where n is not given that means n is infinity is 2 look at the first question in the question, it is given that the first term of a GP is 5 and the sum to infinity of the same GP is 10. So first write down A is 5 and S infinity is 10. Now you have to find the common ratio R and you have to find the sum of the first 12 terms. That means you have to find s12 first we will calculate the value of r s infinity is a over 1 minus r we are going to use this formula to find r s infinity is 10 a is 5 1 minus r now move this 1 minus r up and bring 10 down 1 minus r is 5 over 10 right we moved 1 minus r on the other side and we brought 10 down this will be 1 minus r is 1 over 2 or r is 1 minus 1 over 2 therefore my r is 1 over 2 so now i have the value of r i can use this a and r to find the value of first 12 terms. What is the formula to find S12? S12 is A 1 minus R raised to power N over 1 minus R. Now I use this formula because my R is less than 1. So substitute the values 5 times 1 minus 1 over 2 raised to power 12. 1 minus 1 over 2. Now simplify this and you will get 20475 divided by 2048. This is my required answer. So we used sum to infinity and we used sum of the first n terms. Using these two formulas, first we find out R and then we use this formula to find S12. Look at the next question. In the next question, the second term of a GP is given, which is 1. Also, sum to infinity is given, which is 4. Using these two values, I have to find the sixth term. Okay, so first write down the value of A2. 
a2 is 1 and sum to infinity s infinity is 4. Now open both the formulas. First I will use general term formula a2 is a r raised to power 2 minus 1 is 1 or a r is equal to 1. Now open the second formula s infinity a over 1 minus r is 4 or I can say a is 4 times 1 minus r. Now using equation 1 and equation 2 use these two equations and find the value of a and r then using a and r I can find my sixth term. So first equation is a r is equal to 1. Second equation is a 4 times 1 minus r. Now if I divide equation 1 and 2, divide them, I will get a r divided by a is equal to 1 over 4 times 1 minus r. Okay, a and a cancel r is equal to 1 over 4 times 1 minus r. Bring this to this side. I will get r times 4 times 1 minus r is equal to 1. Or you can write this as right r times 4 is 4r. Four Multiply. Now bring everything to one side. I will get this quadratic equation. Now find the factors and then find R. Now, the factors of this quadratic equation will be 2r minus 1 times 2r minus 1 is equal to 0. That means r is equal to 1 over 2. Now, I have the value of r, 1 over 2. Substitute this value of r in equation 1 and find out the value of a. Now, when I substitute the value of r in equation 1, I will get a times 1 over 2 is equal to 1 or a is equal to 2. So I have the value of r and after substituting the value of r in equation 1, I got the value of a. Now using these two values, I can find the sixth term. So a6 is a r raised to power 6 minus 1 which is a r raised to power 5. So a6 is 2 times 1 over 2 raised to power 5 which is 2 times 1 over 32 which is 1 over 16. So my sixth term is 1 over 16. Look at the next question. In the next question I have the second term of a GP which is 2 and I also know the sum of the second and the third term is 8. I have to find the value of sum to infinity, sum of infinite terms of this GP. First write down all the values which are given to you. Second term is 2 and sum of the second term and the third term is 8. Now using these two values, first I need to find the value of a and I need to find the value of r so that I can find s infinity which is a over 1 minus r. So how am I going to use these two equations to find a and r? Let's start. a2 is 2. Use general term formula, I will get a r is equal to 2. 
Why? Because a n is a r raised to power n minus 1. So a 2 will be a r raised to power 2 minus 1. So a 2 is a r. a 2 is 2. That means a r is equal to 2. Now a 2 plus a 3 is 8. a 2 plus a 3 is 8. Again, open A2 and A3 using this general formula. A2 will be AR and A3 will be AR square is equal to 8. Now, I can take AR common outside. I will get 1 plus R inside the bracket. Right? I got AR plus AR square is equal to 8. If I take AR common outside, what will come inside the bracket? 1 plus r. And all this is equal to 8. Now I know the value of a r. a r is equal to 2. So substitute the value of a r. You will get this. Move this 2 to this side. You will get 1 plus r is equal to 8 over 2. 1 plus r is equal to 4 or r is equal to 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3. Now, I have the value of r. I can find the value of a using this equation. a r is equal to 2. a times r is 3 equal to 2. a is 2 over 3. So now, I have the value of a. I have the value of r. Using these two values, I can find S infinity. Put the values in the formula. I will get S infinity is A over 1 minus R. 2 over 3 divided by 1 minus 3. 2 over 3 divided by negative 2, which is negative 2 over 6 or negative 1 over 3. So my s infinity is negative 1 over 3. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe.